So I just got back from the field. I was finally able to get a fully autonomous mission in with the Firefly 6. The weather here in the Austin area has been very windy lately, but I was able to get out and do this just really short mission. Now this does not include any mapping. I'll cover that in an upcoming video, but I wanted to show the steps that I went through to do a fully autonomous hover, forward flight, back to hover, and then landing. Here is my basic mission. There's a takeoff up to 40 meters. Then we toggle the landing gear and do a transition toggle. So during takeoff, we're in hover mode and this do transition toggle will pitch the motors forward and take us into forward flight. And I've demonstrated that manually in the past. Now, let me demonstrate what I think is a very important part of doing this autonomous mission. You'll see here that after the toggle, we have a waypoint set and that altitude is 80 meters. So we take off to 40 and then transition into forward flight to hit this waypoint at 80 meters. And you can see this is our home location right here. See the Firefly 6? And then this waypoint number four is all the way here across the field. So that's roughly 330 meters, let's say just a thousand feet. So we're giving it time to basically ascend when it goes into forward flight so that we can begin our mission at our desired altitude. Then what you see next is I have a bunch of waypoints at an 80 meter altitude. Then we get down to our last waypoint. We toggle the gear back down. We transition, so we're in forward flight. When we run this transition again, it will take us to hover mode. And then you can see after that, we will land. Let me just talk through the landing sequence. So this waypoint number nine is at 80 meters. And you can see there's a fair amount of distance between nine and 10. So I start stepping down this altitude. This is actually 70 meters. At a waypoint 11, I take it down to 55 and then down here at 12, we're at 40 meters altitude, and that's when I fire the transition toggle into hover mode. I don't recommend going any lower than 40 meters when you're doing this toggle. That's roughly 120 feet. So if anything goes wrong, you have the ability to switch back. So definitely give yourself plenty of altitude when doing any sort of transition, whether it's manually or autonomously. So that's the basic gist of the mission. I will go ahead and save this to a waypoint file and put it on Dropbox just in case you guys want to download and kind of look at the sequence. I'm by no means an expert, but now have several missions under my belt and it's working well. Let's go to the field and take a look at this in action. Here's how this is gonna work. I'm going to arm. By default, I have stabilized. My middle switch position is altitude hold and then all the way up towards us is auto. So I'm gonna start and stabilize arm and then give it a little bit of throttle and then we'll switch to auto all the way up which should initiate our mission. All right, so here I go, I'm gonna arm. Give a little bit of throttle. Then I'm gonna go all the way up into auto, let's go. So it's transitioning on its own. Did the transition. It's going towards the first waypoint. Took off to 40 meters, and now that first waypoint's at 80 meters. It's coming around, doing a good job. Okay, here we go. Now it's in hover mode. coming down nice and easy fully autonomous and let's see nice smooth landing fully autonomous and just because I'm lazy I'm going to manually bring it over 
it's not often you get to see a wing fly backwards. I know I've been talking about doing a mapping mission. Unfortunately, it's starting to get windy out here. I'll definitely be covering that in an upcoming video. One key point is to make sure that you face into the wind. Even if your mission isn't set up that way, when you get up, you can still yaw your aircraft. So yaw that into the wind uh, just on takeoff. Then if you want to do mapping, obviously you want to go crosswind with that. But we'll cover that in an upcoming video. I hope this video was useful. And if you have any questions or comments, please post them below. And until next time, thanks for watching.